I'm Natalie. I'm going to be a junior at Monta Vista High School in Cupertino, California. And I'm here in Boston for the International Bio Convention for the International Biogenius Challenge. So this is my project and it's titled Interrogation of Cancer, Development of a Novel Biomarker Discovery Tool to Identify Clinical Signatures from Statistically Deconvoluted Expressions. And essentially what I did in my project was I developed a new way of developing prognostic signatures for breast cancer patients using deconvolution. So prognostic signatures are one of the things that are really involved in personalized medicine. So what happens in the clinic is doctors utilize these prognostic signatures to determine whether or not patients need chemotherapy. So in my project, the prognostic signatures I've identified are cell type specific. One of the major problems with traditional analysis that is being used today is that the total expression from a microarray is being used. So the purpose of deconvolution is to separate the total expression into the pure cells and profiles from immune, stromal, and tumor cell types. And this separation allows me to get these cell type specific prognostic signatures. So in order to implement this, my project has two components. In the first part of my project, I developed a cell type biomarker discovery tool, and this was to develop biomarkers that can differentiate immune stromal and tumor cell types. And in the second portion of my project, I designed and implemented my deconvolution workflow. So this is a diagram that shows the tool that I used to discover biomarkers. And following biomarker discovery, I validated my biomarkers, and I found that there was excellent correlation in the markers that I discovered using this technique. And in the second portion of my project, I utilized this algorithm to run the deconvolution, and then I implemented, the, implemented this into my breast cancer study, and I discovered my cell type specific prognostic signatures. Um, I've also validated these using, um, against the current FDA approved test, and found more than a 90% overlap. So this, once again, reiterates the success of the techniques I've developed. So in the clinical setting, these techniques have promising applications in predicting prognosis and further developing treatment strategies for breast cancer patients. So thank you very much. What got you interested in this to begin with? Well, I've always been interested in biology, and then about two years ago, I took my first computer science class in high school, and I really wanted to combine the two and utilize the power of computing to analyze biological data. So that's how I became interested in bioinformatics. What, what's then, the future for you, then? Um, well, the future for me, I think high school is really the chance for me to explore new fields. Right now, I'm really interested in bioinformatics, and I hope to continue that through high school and maybe further into college and wherever I go in the future. Do you see this leading to a career in this, or um, your own company, or how do you see that progressing? Um, I'm not really sure. It's definitely a career option, and this summer I actually am going to be working with a bioinformatics-based company. So maybe after that industry experience, I will know further what I want to do. But right now I'm still a little bit undecided. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.